Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Thank you very much. Uh, you've gotten a very very important and powerful statement from president uh, tembo um he did use some words which uh, perhaps i would like to expand on he did say that uh, there's been extra judicial punishment on the various people who have been uh, locked up i think it's important that i break down what extra judicial means extra judicial means outside of the law that these detentions and punishments are not as a result of the law saying that these people uh, should be either detained or denied bail but it is somebody doing it out of their own volition in other words these claims that are being made that they follow the rule of law are merely out there for public relations purposes because if you follow the rule of law you will not do anything which is extra judicial um, and i wish to confirm as president tembo was saying that indeed honorable jj banda did name his abductors he did not remain quiet as Minister Lufuma claimed. And one has to wonder why the minister had to hold a press conference where clearly he was trying to hide what J.J. Banda said. It raises questions, and all of you must ask yourselves, why is this so? Uh, my colleague, President Tembo, lastly also said that uh, uh, J.J. is being kept from the public it is not only from the public but sadly he's being kept even away from his lawyers again a clear indication that this government does not follow the rule of law the next speaker who will address you is my colleague the coordinator of uh, uka president kateka Thank you so much. Uh, good morning. Um, I wish to recognize our former head of state, the sixth uh, Republican president, um, President ECL, uh, chair, and all uh, my colleagues here, and, and you, members of the press. I wish to talk about um, the ugly head of cadarism that we are seeing. Uh, um, I, I don't want to say rising up. I, I just want to give a little bit of a background that to the effect that we have had cadres since the UNIP days. Um, and, and, and since then, every political party that has come in has had its cadres. Um, and Zambians have reluctantly accepted this fact that cadres will be there. But of late, you will notice that um, Zambians are less acceptable of, of um, cadres. And it's one of the main reasons that has been cited for the removal of our alliance partner, the PF, from government in 2021. Now, it is thus very shocking and disappoint, disappointing, to say the least, with regard to what we are seeing today. 
from this beleaguered government, this party in government. Um, let's start with what happened on Thursday last week when we saw a whole lot of cadres carrying pangas being allowed um, to go to deck and hurling insults at the former Republican president. So one has to ask, who is raising these thugs? Who is unleashing these thugs? Why, Mr. President, do you go to Parliament to issue that statement on our morals when you cannot control the behavior of those in your own party? Mr. President, we are asking you to stop the pretense and hypocrisy. Do the right thing. And if you continue along this trajectory, you do so at your own risk. We saw the same behavior uh, at the Mandevo rally that the New Heritage Party was meant to have on Saturday. Some panga wielding, machete wielding uh, cadres were unleashed. I think there were about, is it about 15 buses, 20 busloads? of cadres, do you think that those cadres organized themselves, funded the buses and took themselves to the Mandevu uh, um, Chipata grounds? Obviously it's their leaders who sent them there because we had intel even before that these cadres would be unleashed on us. We saw the same behavior yesterday uh, when the former Republican president uh, was supposed to take his wife to have a traditional meal at Mateveto in, in Thorn Park. Cadres and police were present there to stop them having that, that lunch. What sort of behavior is this? Does it mean that people cannot move around uh, freely? Um, I can be rest assured, Zambians, that this must not and cannot be allowed to continue. I now wish to talk about uh, the, the Mandevu rally itself so that I give a little bit of a background to what actually transpired because the police are saying that it was an illegal gathering, which in fact didn't happen. On the 10th of May, 2024, the New Heritage Party gave notice. Don't forget that we are only required to give notice. We gave notice to hold this rally, giving the police a three-week period when the, 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 um, we are only required to give seven days notice. We gave them three weeks notice, so, and we indicated in our letter that because of their security concerns, we were giving them more than enough time to address those concerns. Um, on the 13th of May, they called us and asked us to bring the original certificate of registration. Now, we are talking about a party that took part in the 2021 general elections and also has taken part in a number of by-elections. If we were not registered, what were we doing on the ballot? Um, a few days later, they then asked for a list of speakers. That was on the 15th. On the 20th, they advised us, remember, advised us, not informed us, but advised us not to proceed with the rally. On the 21st, we appealed to the minister even though it was advice. Remember, advice can either be taken or not taken. So we appealed to the minister on the 21st, and we also wrote on the same day to the, a letter to the Human Rights Commission asking them to intervene and investigate this matter. They came here on the 22nd, and they also brought a letter to say they were going to investigate. Now, in that letter, they um, went to the police and to the minister's office, I'm talking about the Human Rights Commission, and then wrote a letter to us to say, you did not appeal to the police. 
what sort of investigation is that where you listen to one side and you don't bother listening to the other side uh, we are calling upon the human rights commission to up their game and to start doing their job we are not interested in having commissioners there who are being paid by taxpayers and not doing their due job because your job is to see that the rights of zambians are upheld so we wrote to the human rights commission and gave them the letter which was stamped by the minister's office the letter of appeal now according to the constitution the minister is supposed to respond to us within um seven days five days actually sorry five days and the minister did not do that. We got a response from the minister on the 31st with a letter which was probably backdated to the 28th, but in any case, it was still out of time. So we got it on the 31st, and we had decided that we were going to go ahead with the rally. Now, the New Heritage Party meticulously followed the due process. This, the question should be asked, if the police have no capacity, as they are claiming, to man that rally, what was that battalion doing there? You saw, in our days, when we were growing up on the Copper Belt, we called it at the Imbas. <laughs> eh? Those big trucks, I hear now they call them at the fi, fi <laughs> eh? What were, they, they had so many Campiongos, the Imbas there. What were they doing that place? Now, also Zambians should ask the, ourselves the question, that same force that was used to stop the rally, why is it not being used to protect the Zambians and to ensure that the, the rights of Zambians is upheld? Um, why protect the armed cadres but fail to protect Zambians? And that is something that we should ask ourselves for. If we are not careful and we do not um, push back against this repression, we are going to go back into the one-party state and we'll be oppressed and repressed by this beleaguered uh, party in government. Thank you. Thank you very much. Clearly a very, very important uh, statement by my colleague. And uh, she did raise several important issues, especially with regards to cadres. And uh, she asked, who is unleashing the, the thugs? Um, I would uh, go further and say, who is not controlling their thugs? I think that the person who is not controlling their thugs is failing this country. We have seen leadership exhibited by people such as the late John McCain. The late John McCain went for some town hall where one of his supporters got the mic and started berating President Obama, whom John McCain was standing against. What John McCain did was to take the microphone from that lady and tell her that she was out of order and that the things she was saying about President Obama were wrong and corrected them. That was leadership. We had a similar situation here in Zambia when President Akainde went for the Kuomboka. At the uh, Mungu Airport, you had Minister Milupi stand up and address the crowd where he was berating the opposition, where he was encouraging the youths to become more militant, basically to even become violent. And the mic was passed on to Liswaniso, the youth chair, and he carried on along the same lines. You even had uh, Mualiteta as well, at that same, do the same. Throughout that, President Hakainde was <laughs> smiling. <laughs> he could not fit into the shoes of John McCain. 
one would have expected that he would have taken the route John McCain did to that lady who was berating President Obama and corrected her. That's what leadership is about, more especially when you are the head of the nation. You have to show that level of leadership. He has failed to do that. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.